dating back to 1858 and finally settling at air in 1966, the Scottish Grand National has been the centrepiece of the Scottish jump season and has a roll of honour to match. Several winners of the four mile chase have also won the English counterpart at Aintree. And the only horse to do the double in the same year was of course the one and only Red Rum in 1974. They're still proud Tarquin in the lead as they go to a playing fence. Just over a mile to go from Cat Harris. Red Rum moving up into third place. Then comes Rainbow Patch. Andy Wiltshire comes next and just ask them Dickersee. Then comes Kildagnan, Lampoon and Scout. And they come now to an open ditch, the last on the far side of the open ditches. And it's proud Tarquin, Can Harris. Then comes Red Rum over in third place. They're followed in turn then by Kildagnan four. Rainbow Patch is five. Ernie Wiltshire six. Quick reply seven. Then comes Dickersee in eighth place. Another playing fence. And the leader's over safely and it's proud Tarquin. Tarquin still in the lead, being followed by Can Harris, Red Rum, and Kildagan. That's the leading four. Then there's a gap, then to Quick Reply and Rainbow Patch. And so they have one more fence on that far side to take. It's Proud Tarquin in the lead from Can Harris, Red Rum, and Kildagan. Then comes Quick Reply in fifth place, the leading five, then followed by Moonlight Escapade, Dickersey. Then comes Rainbow Patch after Rainbow Patch is TCB. After TCB, then is followed by Ernie Wilchin. So they're on the turn for home. And it's Proud Tarquin in the lead from Can Harris, Kildagan, Red Rum, and Quick Reply. That's that's the leading five. They swing now into the straight on towards the third last. That's the order. Proud Tarquin leads from Can Harris. Red Rum on the inside and third, getting a backhander there by Brian Fletcher. Kill Dagen on the outside. This is the third from last. And it's Proud Tarquin in the lead. He's up. And he's over and joined by Red Rum in the centre. On the near side is Can Harris. That's a leading three. Two to go. It's Proud Tarquin on the far side. Red Rum in the centre. Can Harris on the near side. Who's going to lead here? It's Red Rum. Red Rum in the lead from Proud Tarquin on the far side. Can Harris. Quick reply now running on into fourth place. Then comes Kill Dagging. They have one to go. It's John Oaksy on the far side and Proud Tarquin. Red Rum on the near side. Brian Fletcher. That's the order. And it's Red Rum. What a horse this is. He's going to do it in one year. The English Grand National, the Scottish Grand National. And he's running up to the line. And it's Brian Fletcher and Red Rum once again. They win it from Proud Tarquin. Kill Dagging third. Can Harris. Quick reply then comes Dickersey Dickersey followed him by Moonlight Escapade TCB and they've got five more fences to take and it's superior finish and Earth Summit and Riverside Boy and they're in the air together great run by this novice uh, Earth Summit as the tail end Charlie's that's Willsford and that's over the deal there goes Mr Red and uh, some of the stragglers but as they start the run towards the home straight it's Earth Summit for David Bridgewater opened up by three to four lengths to superior finish he's gonna have to put a superior finish if he's gonna back Earth Summit, Riverside Boy and Bishop's Island and they're well strung out now in the starkest Scottish National this is four out and it's Earth Summit is over it, there goes Superior finish, Bishop's Island into third, Riverside Boy's done his running into the rim, what a grand run by that one, could well get placed they come down towards the third last and it's Earth Summit, clear by eight to ten a plain fence, he takes it well Bishop's Island in second place, he jumped it slowly the outside of Superior finish and Riverside Boy, but into the Red and Merry Master, bar a fall Two to jump, always oh, got close to it. Earth Summit, but he's got away with it. And he's got 15 lengths to spare over superior finish. And Bishop's Island, it has got one more fence to jump. As Earth Summit, this improved novice. 16 to 1 Earth Summit as he comes down towards the last. But he comes to take it, and he's over safely. And it's a double for the Twist and Davises here on Starkey Scottish National Day. This Earth Summit doesn't know he's had a run coming up towards the line. It's Earth Summit going to be eased right down. Bishop's Island will take second up towards the line. David Bridgewater looks round. Earth Summit's the winner. Bishop's Island is second. Superior finishes third. And then came Riverside Boy, followed by Merry Master into the red. From nowhere, Mr. Red finished like the rocket. Then came the rocket himself, Carousel Rocket, just ahead of Willsford over the deal. What Fettel beat off the brew and the field trail back to Rufus, who was last of all. Yeah, the last time a favourite won the Scottish National was Red Rum, and it's young Kenny, the top weight and the favourite, the best horse in the race. And uh, tailing out the back, Peter has been pulled up and Pariah has been pulled up. Bright Destiny continuing, but tailed off. But they had uh, the leaders at least. They're really stretching the field now. Some very weary horses indeed. Forest Ivory is a fence behind the leader. Young Kenny, the top weight. Rated a top horse by trainer Peter Beaumont comes to take that last on the far side. Irish runner is Holly Bank, but they won the Martel last year and last year, last week with Bobby Joe. He tries to get going on Holly Bank, but does Norman Williamson back in third is full of oats. And then we've got the next wall, so it's young Kenny under Brandon Powell. He could have ridden Scott in the race, usually does that. Gray is out of it, he's well tailed off. 
but up front it's a power performer here in the go zone as they come down towards the fourth from home the top weight young Kennedy what a bold jump but Holly Banks Buck is closing well uh, back into third place is full of oats they come down towards the third last and it's young Kenny in the colors of Mr. Gareth Reed on this homebred horse young Kenny pops over it well Holly Bank Buck is in second place full of oats is in third with clevery mark who might get placed just two to jump in the Scottish National. The top weight, Young Kenny, comes to take it well. Irish in second place. Holly Bank Buck back in third. Clever remark of Full of Oats are really battling hard. But what a power performer. The favourite clear at the last in the National. They come to take it now. It's Young Kenny. He takes it. Spring heel. What a really good horse he is as they race inside the last 150 yards. It's Young Kenny. Brendan Powell won the race before. So he can hear the cheers ringing in his ears. So can Young Kenny, the winner. Second horse home is Holly Bankbuck. Third and a brave, brave performance by Full of Oats. Clever remark for Nishes. So too does Farfaday and the next waltz. And also very much in his own time, Camelot Knight. They've got eight fences left to jump, and it's Paris Pike from Young Kenny on the outside, running another good race here at Air as they landed over that one. Scott and Green chases in third. Sam Lee is now feeling the pinch as Birkdale pulls up. The ground was too quick for him, as his trainer feared, as they now run on towards another open ditch. And it's Paris Pike from Young Kenny in second. Over in third, Noble Lord improving. Scott and Breen gets a reminder, then Spended. He's yet to twitch on Marlborough, back in sixth place. Waiting, waiting, Young Kenny made a mistake there. Behind the front six at Ambleside, and then Sam Lee, who seems to have lost his action, as they run towards the last fence in the back straight. And this is the fifth from home, and it's Paris Pike from Young Kenny. Noble Lord over in third. And then in behind these, Marlborough is now trying to pick up these leaders as they swing left-handed away from the back straight. They've got four fences left to jump. And it's Paris Pike, Young Kenny, Noble Lord, Spended. But look at Marlborough in fifth place, the winner at the Cheltenham Festival under Mick Fitzgerald. He's riding another confident race. He seems to have plenty of horse under him, but will the horse stay? This is four out. Paris Pike lands in front by two lengths. Marlborough wasn't too quick at that, and it's now shaken up. Young Kenny on the outside, second. Noble Lord running a big race. Marlborough goes into fourth, then Spended. Down towards the third last, and it's Paris Pike and Adrian Maguire another mistake by Marlborough there perhaps he's getting a bit leg weary but Paris Pike is still staying on strongly in front with two fences left to go the final open ditch and Paris Pike another great jump oh Marlborough's jumping's fallen apart Noble Lord second Young Kenny third then Marlborough suspended and it's Paris Pike running on relentlessly in the lead under Adrian Maguire six lengths clear over the last Noble Lord chasing in second then last year's winner Young Kenny a gap to spend it, and then Marlborough and Paris Pike this progressive young chaser kept going in front to win the Scottish National Noble Lord in second in third Young Kenny a great run again fourth home was spended followed by Ambleside Marlborough practically pulled up on the run in